Witness News, we're live at 5 o'clock, only on Channel 9. A former nurse at Atrium Health is now accused of stealing fentanyl while on the job. I'm Erica Bryant. I'm Scott Wickersham. Catherine Rupert faced a judge for the first time today, and Channel 9's crime reporter Hunter Sines was the only reporter in that courtroom. And Hunter, do we know if Rupert was allegedly using the drugs herself? No, Scott, we don't know if Rupert or someone else was using the fentanyl she's accused of stealing. But the SBI says she stole those drugs while she was working here at the Carolinas Medical Center. We caught up with Catherine Rupert outside court today seeking answers. I just wanted to get your side of the story on all of this. If you have anything I'm not to say, in talking about anything. And quickly found out she wasn't interested in answers. Did you indeed steal fentanyl out of Atrium Health? The State Bureau of Investigation says she did in April of last year. She was arrested yesterday. In a warrant, they accused the former nurse at Atrium Health of stealing fentanyl from the Carolinas Medical Center in Charlotte, where she worked. Such a shock, I think, to the system. Christine Zazaro is president and CEO of the McLeod Center's several treatment clinics in the area. Health care providers, whether it be doctors or nurses, are held to a standard higher than maybe your neighbor or somebody else. She personally isn't surprised by the headline based on the wild ways some try to get the addictive drug. I think it's more prevalent than even we know. She and her colleague, Lindsay Blackman, are focused on treatment. I've had clients of all ages, all ethnicities, all races, all genders. The best practice is to provide treatment on demand. Anything to say at all? Back at the courthouse, Rupert told a judge she hired an attorney as she faces a felony charge of embezzling or diverting a controlled substance. And I asked Atrium Health multiple questions about this, but all they would say is that Catherine Rupert has not worked for them since last April when all of this started. Of course, if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, there is help out there. We have a list of those resources that can help you out on our website at WSOCTV.com. Live in Dilworth, Hunter Science Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Hunter, thank you.